Warning, this video contains excessive silliness and poo-poo puns. Proceed at your own risk. Oh, dadgum, this place is a dang mess. So I start every new project with a clean shop. By the time I'm done with it, it looks, well, kind of like this. It's just how I roll. <laughs> I should clean it. That's better. Guys! Guys! Look what just came in the mail. I wonder what's inside. All right, pretty sure I know what this is, so let's put on our PPE first. Oh my gosh, let's bring this out in the light. Okay, do you know what this is? I do. That there's dinosaur dookie. <laughs> that is one big pile of shit. Dookie. Okay, so what's going on is, there's this other channel, you may have heard of them, called What's Inside. I mean, you may not have heard of them because, you know, they're such a small channel. Uh, yeah. In one of their previous videos called What's Inside Dinosaur Poop, they asked the audience who could be able to carve it into the poop emoji. How can we turn this into this? Gotta help us, guys. And since you guys are so awesome, and you're also a fan of their channel, um, let's just say you have spoken. So, they got in touch with me and sent me some crap in the mail. And uh, that's where we are now, so... So Dan and Lincoln, I accept your challenge to turn this dookie into even more dookie. Dookie turning dookie into dookie. I say, it's like a dookie inception. Yay! Okay, so here is my dilemma. Do I make it one continuous turd starting and swirling around like this? until it whoop, which makes more sense since the dinosaur only has one butthole. But in order to make it look more like the picture, it technically should be two swirls. You can imagine if this comes this way, in order to make it back to here, it's gonna have to go straight across and then curve up, then go straight across in the back and so on and so forth. But in order to make it look like this on both sides, it's gonna have to have two. So this one's gonna go up and then continue on behind at a curve to go up on the front and then they'll meet in somewhere in the back. This one would start in the back, curve around the side, go up and then go up to this point and then meet up with the second. I think it will look better doing two swirly helixes meeting up. It won't make as much sense in a, you know, that the dinosaur would have to it'd be some kind of mutant two butthole dinosaur. <laughs> I've never, I've never had these kinds of thoughts. It's, uh, it's mildly disturbing. <laughs> okay, enough duty talk. Let's get down to cutting the crap. Here's our little turd cone. You can see if it will focus. Thank you. So this is where I have it so far. I kind of like the cracks, but, and that's the thing is I could make it really, really small and take care of most of the cracks, but then it would be really small and I don't want it to be tiny, tiny. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and fill these cracks with a two-part epoxy resin. 
I think that'll make it look better. Kind of have a, like a clear, well, clear, clear, clear. <laughs> it'll have a clear filler. That way it doesn't chunk off chunks and get all chunky. That way it fills the cracks. <laughs> Okay, so that is gonna set and cure. And uh, in the meantime, check out this cool noise I found. I made a math. Let's see. Okay, you can see that it has successfully cured. The resin is really hard, so now I just gotta go and take it back to the belt sander, clean it up, and uh, and we'll just go from there. Okay. You can see that the epoxy really didn't do anything other than fill the voids. That way there's not a whole lot of big holes in it. It's less risk of it breaking a chunk off and ruining it. So let's get to carving. <laughs> Get the banana in my face, I don't even want it. Oh, hi. <laughs> okay, here's the situation that we have the turdlet in. It kind of looks like chocolate. Mmm. Next thing we gotta do is give it a ding dang old sandly sand with some sand papier. Paint the eyes and the mouth, then give it a clear coat. Then it'll be done, and then we will send it on its way back to what's inside headquarters. Let's do it. This is definitely the crappiest carving I have ever done. But in this case, it's a good thing. So now the plan is, I'm gonna mail this off to Dan and Lincoln over at What's Inside, and then they're gonna make a video of the unboxing and what they think about it. So be sure to go over to Dan and Lincoln's channel, What's Inside, and not only watch the video, but subscribe to them. They're just super awesome guys. It's educational, it's fun, and you get to learn what's inside of all kinds of stuff. Oh, and also, holy crap, guys, I got so many book recommendations in my last video that was sponsored by Audible. Thank you so much. So many great books to choose from, but I have picked three that are gonna be the next ones I listen to. First one is A Wrinkle in Time, mainly because the movie just came out and I wanna see how the book is. The Outsiders and the Pendragon series, mainly because the protagonist's name is also Bobby. And if you haven't signed up to Audible already, go ahead and do so, it really helped me out. Links in the description, audible.com forward slash Bobby Duke. Or you can text Bobby Duke to 500 500 and sign up that way. Now on to mail time. 
Oh, I got goodies in the mail. This is a really nice letter that was sent to me by Brittany Tipsword. Thank you very much. And she also did a really sweet, cool drawing of me. I think it's awesome. Thank you, I appreciate it. I got another one. Jamie, I'm Hoff. I really appreciate the, re the letter, the redder. It's super fabulous. That's super nice of you. I love reading the letters and stuff. I mean, you guys talking about how I've inspired you to get back into art. I mean, that's why I'm doing this, is to get people interested in art and show them that art is fun and can be done on a budget. And I really appreciate all of that. So, thank you. I don't know what it is, what's inside of you? Oh. It's a shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Who put the lime in the coconut? <laughs> oh my gosh, that's awesome. In fact, I'm gonna put it on now. Don't show my fat. Dude, and it fits perfectly. Hey, and it matches my shoes. <laughs> awesome, thank you. I'll be running with these later. <gasps> I see wood! Coca-Bolo? And this is a uh, Western Maple Burl. Oh man, some ebony, some Gaboon ebony. This is the same black wood that is used for the piano keys that I used in that knife video. And that was sent by Derek Tischler. Thank you, Derek. This one's from Peter Krivoshki. And Patrick thinks it's something for him. <laughs> <laughs> really? Cool. That is so awesome. Can you see? I can't remember if stingrays have the little doohickeys in front. I think it's a manta ray. That's awesome. Oh, thank you. And there's a note. I'll read that later. This is from Haley Hayward. There it is. Thank you, Haley. A nice card and oh wow <laughs> so, <laughs> it looks like a little me Let's see if I can do the, the face <laughs> wow that is some fine detail I can appreciate that thank you Haley thank you Peter and all the other people that sent me stuff I love you all especially those that send me presents <laughs> Just kidding I love you all Thank you. Oh!